Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, another quick hitter edition coming right at you. Breaking news out of uh, the New York, New Jersey area. Keith Conan, the Barbarian Richter, the president of the Pagans Motorcycle Club, uh, the most consequential biker boss of this era, and definitely public enemy number one for the federal government. Uh, it looked like he was coming out of prison after two years. On a gun case, he was supposed to be released last uh, last week, but uh, I'm being told that uh, the day that he was supposed to come out, which was August 10th, that he was brought into custody by state authorities in New York. Uh, he was serving his time down in, in out in New Jersey at Fort Dix, and that uh, Suffolk County uh, wants him for another two years related to another gun case. Uh, both of these uh, gun seizures happen in the winter, early spring of 2021. One, uh, the one that he just served time for came from a traffic stop in New Jersey in Mercer County, where uh, they were tipped off that there was a gun in a secret compartment in the car that he was traveling in. Uh, Conan had just attended an annual Pagans uh, party where they celebrate the life of a a fallen brother, a guy they called Mailman, um, who was killed in a brawl uh, in the early 2000s, I believe, maybe late 90s. Um, and they celebrate him. And uh, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which was where he was from, uh, Conan was with a lot of pagan shot callers at this event in February of 21. And someone at that event tipped the police off that he was on his way back to New York. Conan is based out of Long Island, uh, Suffolk County, and uh, he was pulled over and they found a gun in a, a secret compartment underneath the center console. Uh, that was very, very high profile. That arrest, that bust, a lot of headlines. That's what he went to prison for two years for in the feds. What seemed to slip under the radar that we're just learning about now was that there was another state case um, stemming from that same time period in a raid of his home uh, on Long Island where state officials found an un, uh, a gun on the nightstand next to Conan's bed. Conan being a, um, a convicted felon, he's not, not allowed to have uh, firearms or be anywhere near firearms. And under normal, any you know, under every other possible circumstance, uh, these two cases would have run concurrent. He would have done the two years for both the Fed and the state at the same time. But uh, because he is such a valued target by, uh, in terms of you know, the, in the government's viewpoint, they seem to want to jam him here, not let him back on the on the street, people that are watching this, that, that follow this uh, Pagans, Conan the Barbarian saga over the last five years know that uh, Conan the Barbarian is the architect of the Blue Wave, which is this massive Pagans uh, expansion effort that is the brainchild of Conan the Barbarian, Keith Richter, when he took power in the Pagans in late 2017 in a bloodless coup, uh, forced his way into the uh, presidency and wanted to spread the brand uh, of the pagans, uh, plant flags in parts of the country that the pagans had never been in before. Uh, he launched this in 2018. In the last five years, uh, you know, two dozen or so new chapters around the country. Another dozen, two dozen, uh, uh, if not more, chapter absorptions or patchovers. Pagans have always been a, a Southeast, East Coast club, and, and now they have a presence pushing West. Um, there's been pagan activity in Washington State, Montana, Oregon, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, a lot of areas where you never saw pagans before. Uh, New Jersey is an, uh, is an area that they had a presence in, but they've really ramped it up uh, with Conan's vice president, Hugo uh, Zorro Nieves, uh, who has also led this 
very calculated recruiting of Latino members. Uh, they've made a deal or have uh, re-established a deal with the Mongols uh, to help them uh, with that push west. And it's just it's causing a lot of waves. And right now, Conan the Barbarian, Keith Richter, is at the same level as Taco Bowman was in the 90s, Sonny Barger, uh, George Christie, guys like that, these biker boss icons. And, you know, the government comes, brings the full court press. And uh, what looked like Conan coming back to the street uh, in, in the late summer of 2023 now appears that Conan's going to have to go do two more years. Um, we'll know more next week and check the gangster report for, uh, you know, real time breaking news. But right now I'm told he is in custody at Suffolk County and probably will be in front of a judge at some point next week. And they'll figure out if he actually has to do these two years. Um, I'm being told that he probably will. And uh, the question of what happens when Conan comes home will now be We'll be kicking the can down the road, and we won't be asking that now until at least, I'm guessing, late 24, maybe, uh, you know, mid-25. So uh, this is, you know, it, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Conan the, uh, Conan the Barbarian, Keith Richter, uh, he is on the bulletin board of every DEA, ATF, FBI agent, uh, every one of those units, and they are coming after him with a full arsenal. Check back at the Gangster Report OG Pod uh, for all your breaking news related to La Cosa Nostra and the bikers, uh, as well as you know all time types of organized crime that we're going to uh, be feeding you. We love giving you the, the 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 hottest content, and we're going to keep doing that. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out. Mm -hmm.